All right, so you want to play Rocksmith 2014 custom songs. You've probably seen some of my videos on YouTube playing Master Puppet's full album, all the Metallica, all the meme stuff, the Avenged Sevenfold full album charts, uh, you know, the Sabaton two hour custom charts. So you see stuff like that and you're wondering, how does Chainbrain get these songs in Rocksmith 2014? Also, before we get started here, I would just like to say that uh, if you're a fan of Rocksmith or guitar, consider subscribing to my channel. I am a full-time Rocksmith creator. I stream every day on Twitch, playing metal. I upload one song playthrough a day on this channel, and I do have plans for more YouTube videos uh, focused on like tips and tricks. I'm just looking forward to sharing my Rocksmith 2014 knowledge uh, with all of you. If that sounds cool to you, please subscribe. But if not, that's all right. It's been about two years, I think, since our last Rocksmith 2014 tutorial video on how to install CDLC. And just like that last video, I have to start it off the same way by saying that this only works for the PC Steam version of Rocksmith 2014. This video cannot help if you play on Xbox, PlayStation, or Mac. CDLC does work on Mac, but it will not be covered in this video. Also, a quick little piece of information inside this patch, they've also included the Intel multi-core patch. If you were trying to play Rocksmith 2014 on a newer Intel processor that had a lot of cores, Rocksmith 2014 was actually not starting. There was a DLL mod that was created by the community that fixed this. They actually included that in this CDLC fix. So now this patch that we're going to install to allow custom DLC is like the ultimate patch. So step zero here, everybody, I'm just going to assume that you already have Rocksmith 2014. Now, obviously, you can't purchase Rocksmith 2014 anymore. I have heard people say that there are CD keys up on eBay and stuff like that, um, but it's not a guarantee that if you buy one of those, it'll redeem to your account. So hopefully you own Rocksmith 2014 and it's in your library here just like this. So you can just click it to download. So once you make sure that your Rocksmith 2014 is installed on your computer, the first step that you're going to do is you're going to find the link in the video description. You're going to click that. This is actually the Customs Forge website that hosts all of our custom stuff. They made this nice little page to download the custom patch installer for us. So you click the download button here. It's going to download into your downloads folder. You can see I downloaded it twice. So once you have the file downloaded, you're going to find where it downloaded it onto your PC. If you're using Chrome, by default, it goes to your downloads directory here. The next step, very simple. You're going to double click the RS2014 CDLC installer.exe. Most likely Windows is going to warn you about it here. You're going to click more info and run anyway. I guarantee that this is safe. No tomfoolery has gone in the creation of this file. And just like the last video, the CDLC patch installer, you're going to get this prompt. Click to unlock CDLC. And now it says you should now be able to play CDLC in Rocksmith 2014 Remastered Edition. Now that the patch is installed, you're ready to go. If you know what to do from here, go have some fun, play some custom tracks. If you need a little bit more help on how to find the custom songs, I'm going to help you out here. So if this is your first time using custom DLC, you're going to have to come and register an account on the Customs Forge website. So the Customs Forge is actually a Rocksmith community forum built around playing custom tracks in Rocksmith 2014. They also have some fun community events. They have some tournaments and leaderboards and, and things like that. Also, this site is run completely on donations from the community. So if you really enjoy playing custom DLC and you would like to further the development of the website, uh, consider donating. So this here you're going to have to do on your own. You're going to have to sign up, make an account. I can't help you with this. But once you're logged in, you should see your username in the, up in the top corner here. You got Chainbrain, that's me. So now you're logged in, you want to download custom songs. So let me show you how to do that. So what you're going to do from the Customs Forge page now is you're going to click the Ignition 4 search button up here. Now this brings you to the Customs Forge Ignition page. Now this is probably the page you're going to want to bookmark if you're going to be playing a lot of custom DLC because this is where you're going to come and look through the database of all the tracks that are available to play. So a couple things, everybody. We have the search bar up here. So, you know, you could type things like uh, Metallica, whatever, Slayer, to search the custom DLC database. By default, it is listed in order uploaded. So if you log in here right on the homepage, this is all the most recent stuff. So if you're looking for what has been most recently updated, you can just look through the list here and see a lot of stuff. You know, if any new music comes out, the charters are pretty fast to getting stuff up there. So it's worth keeping an eye on the most recent updates. So other things you could do here, everybody, you could sort by, you know, alphabetically, you could sort by date added. Typically, most recent charts are probably better to play. You can see how many times a chart was downloaded here. And this is very important, the arrangements. 
the arrangements indicates what paths a custom DLC has. I would say a good indicator of a quality custom DLC is that there will be an L, R, B, and the little microphone. So L is lead path, R is rhythm path, B is bass path, and the little microphone means that they've included the lyrics. Typically, if a custom charter has taken time to add all of these things, that is a sign that they've put effort into the custom chart, and chances are it'll be a good one. Let's search something like Metallica. So now we have all the Metallica custom charts here. So let's pick one to download and play. So these look a little bit different because I've downloaded some of these before, but to download and play, you're gonna click the little download icon on the side here. Once you click that download button, now files are gonna be hosted all over the place, Google Drive, Dropbox, Mediafire. So these download pages are gonna look a little bit different depending on what you click, but it should be all pretty straightforward that you're wanting to download the custom file. So for this one here, it says we've downloaded, we got Metallica too far gone. This part is a little bit straightforward, but some people need some help. So now that you have your downloads folder up and you see your Metallica CDLC there, you're gonna open up a second file browser and you're gonna to navigate to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocksmith 2014, DLC. So this is the folder where typically if you purchased official Ubisoft Rocksmith DLC, they would download into this folder. In our case, we're gonna take all of our custom songs and we're gonna to toss them into this folder here. So my Metallica Too Far Gone, I'm gonna drag it to my DLC folder. Now you see Metallica Too Far Gone is in your DLC folder. When you launch Rocksmith 2014, Metallica Too Far Gone will show up in the game and you can play it. Another thing I'd like to add everybody, if you're ever going through custom DLC downloads and you see things like this, you might come across folders that have a lot of files in here. So in this one, you'll see a DD file. That means dynamic difficulty. So you might see DD or NDD files. Typically you get the DD, that stands for dynamic difficulty. Rocksmith 2014 just has a better time playing those files, I've always found. Also another thing is you might see an MPSARC and a PPSARC. So MPSARC is actually for the Mac version of custom DLC, but for this video we're doing PC only. So you're always gonna look for the PPSARC files if you ever see any folders like this with multiple files. So also keep in mind, everybody, that if you wanted to organize this DLC folder, as you can see, I haven't. But if you wanted to, you can actually make subfolders in here, too. So if I wanted to make a Metallica folder, I could. If I wanted to make uh, an Iron Maiden folder and I just put Metallica and Metallica, Iron Maiden and Iron Maiden, as long as it's within your DLC folder, they will still show up in the game and you'll be OK. A couple of quick steps, making sure we have Rocksmith 2014 installed, creating our custom Forge account getting into Ignition, downloading songs, applying the CDLC patch, and we're ready to play custom DLC. So if this video helps you, everybody, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions about Rocksmith, let me know. I'm always happy to help people. We do have a community Discord server as well. If you want to hop in there, we got a bunch of Rocksmith players. And also, I stream Rocksmith every single day on Twitch, everybody. If you ever want to come hang out, we're mostly playing heavy metal stuff, like heavy stuff. I am open and happy to talk Rocksmith on the Twitch stream, so if you have any questions about it, maybe hop in there. I can help to the best of my ability. We have a community of Rocksmith players as well. We're always looking for more people to talk about the game, talk about music with, talk about guitar playing. So if this video helps you, make sure to like, subscribe maybe. That would really help me out as a creator. And I'll see you on the next tutorial video.